Hello and welcome, my Cranberry Patriots. I've got the opportunity of a lifetime for you. First of all, if you enjoy cosmetics, if you enjoy supporting charity, and if you enjoy supporting your favorite YouTuber, I've got the easiest solution for you ever. Use my creative support code. It's SJB, and then buy anything in the store. For the next four days from the 27th to the 1st, you're going to earn 15% towards any of your purchase will go towards charity. In addition, 15% will go towards supporting me as a creator, as a YouTuber, which is just absolutely epic. And on top of that, you earn free cosmetics at the end of it all. Now, if we are the number one creator, that ends up earning the most towards charity. We're going to earn a special cosmetic on top of that, a, a beyond what's already going to be giving us for free, as a special Nijikui fan made one. So we get to kind of pick what we want, which is absolutely epic. I'm really excited for it. So if you guys want to support me, hook me up. Make sure you use my code and make sure you buy something in the store to make sure you get all those wonderful, juicy things. And game number one is off to a bang with a disconnect. Game number two is a little bit weird. It's this guy's plan with a really weird strategy, but. I don't know, I don't think it's going to last very long, because he still cannot pop yellows for some reason. And I'm just going to balloon boost it, and he's going to GG me with the yellow balloons. I mean, yep, there they go. Goodbye. This is our first game pass round five. And I'm just going to go for a quick glaive ricochet here, just to ricochet off all this crap here. And I'm realizing this guy's actually not that good. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Let's try some whites, and we're going to go for a quick red hot rings. And uh, see if this guy can hang on for dear life. Uh, he's got ninjas and Quincy, which should be pretty decent against whites, but I don't know. He's struggling already, man. Okay, our first leak lives are about to happen, and he's still not getting enough upgrades here. The first blood is ours. We're still draining him. We're going to balloon boost this crap. Boom, boom. Could we take him down here with a white rush? And we can. Hey, game number four. We get a DC on round one against the same guy that we just played against. He didn't like us very much. So that might get us to our 40 trophies. Current win streak, no lives lost. Beautiful, beautiful. Didn't even get to put a tower down. And we get 41 trophies. Bam! We're currently in the lead dungeon now. All right. Well, at least we were not down to Yellow Stadium. I guess that... Oh, we're Red Bloom Camp. Holy crap. Hey, the lead dungeon players are where the, the challenge is at, I guess. Uh, we're surviving past round five. The first person to survive white balloons. It's pretty interesting, to say the least. We got Yellow Bloom's about to pop here. I'm going to see if he can survive that, because he just wasted his energy kind of at the wrong time. We're going to be balloon boosting these yellows. I'm going hard on him. This could be the end of him, unless he gets a wall of fire or something. Uh, I don't know, bro. It's looking pretty rough. 58, 50. He gets Churchill up at the last second with 30 lives left. He's trying to hang on. The balloon boost is worn off down to 20. Slowly getting drained at this point. 20. Two lives still alive somehow. I see them going through, but they're not. Okay, I guess he somehow got it in uh, in check there, and we have run out of money to rush with. All right, we're gonna have to get our defense ready. You know what? I don't think this guy can defend a purple rush, so we're gonna go for a quick mortar just to defend on our side. I'm gonna go for the bottom path. Um, get ready for my birdie stuff, but I'm gonna go for a quick purple rush just so we can take it out real quick. I'm gonna balloon boost it too. It's a pretty beefy rush. He's, he might be able to take it down, but no, it's just too beefy. Ooh, we got a pretty rough start here for this guy. We're going to balloon boost the reds, even. I think it's just worth it. Um, I could try to do greens, but I think we're better off just root rushing. He's going to use his uh, monkey boost. If you ever get a monkey boost to be used, and it, 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 even if it, it costs you a balloon boost, it is worth it. It is very, very, very much worth it. I want to try a fairly decent white rush here. He's got three ninjas now with Oban, so I don't think it's going to go through, but... You never know, man. Um, white rushes are pretty crazy. And I think, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try to balloon boost this. If we can force another monkey boost out of it, totally worth If not, eh, I'm not going to be upset about it. Most of these games have not been going long term. So we're thinking another purple rush or rainbow rush early game is probably going to get us another easy early win. Um, and he does get another monkey boost to happen. Okay, that is always good for us. We might be able to take him down with a quick yellow rush here because these towers are not good against group balloons. So even though whites are not technically group balloons, there's still a decent amount of them, so it can be somewhat difficult for some players to take him down. But once we get to round seven, yellows are allowed, and we're going to have to unload on his face, use our last balloon boost, and maybe just wipe him out. Are right, you spending a decent amount of money here. Here we go. Full on yellows. Uh, I'm going to wait. It's just a little bit of time here to get an overwhelm going, and then we're going to balloon boost it. And this could be the end for him. All we need is 91 lives to go through. At the very least, let's get that last monkey boost to pop. And he's struggling. No monkey boost. Those lives are going right on through. Late monkey boost down to 50, 40, 30, 20, 19, 10. Into the teens, into the ones, and we get him with the yellow rush. And this guy actually had a lot of medals under his belt. Uh, a lot of no lives lost games and stuff like that. We already made that not happen so far, but... Uh, 
it'll, it'll be curious to see what happens long term. This is actually going to be, I think, a good game. All right, it may not work, but we've got to try our White Rush real quick. It's been working against a lot of players. They just don't know what to do against it. And it looks like it's worth a balloon boost. It's worth it to try. If we can make a monkey boost happen, all the better. And I've got more than enough money to get my even faster shooting on this uh, 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 blade shooter here. We do some lives of damage, but nothing crazy. And we did not force a monkey boost either. At least not yet. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm going to continue with these whites until I think the yellows are able to come out. Because, uh, he is still struggling at least a little bit. Alright, I'm going to get a low tier mortar. I'm going to try to swap directly into our yellows here. Just a second. He's got a pretty decent level, uh, sniper too, which is kind of weird. But we did get him down to about half of his lives at this point. Another balloon boost could be in order. Yeah, let's do it, man. Another balloon boost. We could just kill him right here with these yellows. He's going to monkey boost it, but he doesn't have the group popping power. And Dan is going to get defeated on round seven, maybe. He's still surviving with four lives. Oh, he is going to survive. All right, he's got to play this careful, though. I mean, four lives is like nothing. Purples, leads, uh... Uh, camo anythings might be able to take this guy down oh he's down to one and zero we take him down with the whites this is one of my favorite maps in the entirety of the game and here's why this guy right here put him keep him on circle path and he is straight up delicious in addition i think you're better off swapping him to uh uh against the grain against the grain usually ends up being slightly more powerful than with the grain Check out this destruction, though. Uh, this bomber race. I mean, look at the bombs flopping out. I mean, this is just straight up ridiculous. Like, literally, the perfect tower, the perfect placement, the perfect everything. I decided to swap to my White Rush, um, kind of as usual. And the reason why I do this, and I haven't really explained it yet, is that usually, as far as eco is concerned, reds and blues are going to be the most efficient in the early game. Once you swap to whites, though, uh, they end up being more efficient than any of those, including yellows, pinks, and whites. But whites are actually dangerous as a rushing balloon as well. What this allows me to do, though, is it allows me to make some economy while still kind of keeping my opponent busy, making him spend his money, and then getting me ready for round seven where I can do a big yellow rush. And believe it or not, yellows are completely different than whites. Um, you really need to uh, have the right towers to be able to pop them, and if you don't, you're freaking screwed. So we can often overwhelm players by just sending out $3,000 worth of yellows kind of all at once here. And that's what I like to do. So I'm going to go for a quick yellow rush and see what this is going to do. Again, no guarantees or anything like that. But sometimes just a really nice boosted yellow rush can devastate your opponent. And if it doesn't, at the very least, you're getting economy out of it. Check this out. Yellow balloons are starting to sneak through at this point. He's going to go for a quick fire for uh, Gwendolyn. Going to blow up a lot of these yellows. A lot of these yellows. Uh, but I'm gonna keep on going with my economy. I might be able to make a 1k, but here we go. We got some black blues flopping out now, which means, uh, uh that is one weakness to my monkey ace. So we're gonna have to see if we want to swap to, uh, uh, anything else in addition to my monkey ace. But for right now, I'd like to just play it as long as I possibly can. Spend my money on, um, that. But this guy is playing very, very well so far compared to a lot of the players that we've been playing so far. Um, he's actually able to get a, de get a decent defense, he's actually got a decent economy, and he's actually able to rush us with things that are going to affect us at least a little bit long term. Alright, we're going to do the exact same, but we're going to go for a bigger pink rush this time instead of yellows. Even more dangerous, then we're going to even consider going for a purple rush around 11, and then still try to get our defense up uh, to pop camos and regular balloons as well. Because right now, I'm a little weak against camo blacks, and I just, I don't know. So, here we go. A pink rush does cause another cocktail, but no battle energy. Alright, we're going to get ready for this purple rush, because that's going to be weak, um... Uh, strong against Gwendolyn, and then we gotta get some camo sticks. So we're gonna go for a quick uh, dirtling gun. I'm gonna go for a boomerang. I'm gonna upgrade things as we need them, basically, while I get ready for my purples. So we go. Let's go for a decent sized purple rush. Let's boost that crap. Let's see what he does. No Gwendolyn popping power. No cocktail action, and 117 lives might just go right through. And there we go. This guy made a big mistake right from the get go, I think. Put his boomerang over here, which cannot reach the the scent balloons. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to see what happens here. I got to get a boat going, though, because I don't want to do a boomerang start on this map. And uh, to make this happen, I'm going to boost myself just because he's losing so many lives already. I don't even care if I have to waste a boost. Oh, my God, down to 60, 50. He's finally getting a boomerang up. Uh, I'm going to go for some greens kind of mixed in here so we can kill him. And maybe we'll just win this one. Let's balloon boost these last few rushes, man. Four lives, three lives, and an easy early win from us. And he's crying. Misplaced boomerang, my friend. Misplaced boomerang. Hey, we got a 10 win streak. Wonderful. All right, and that's going to get us up to the next area, the Ceramic Crucible with 52 trophies. Delicious. I tried a slightly different strategy, and at the moment, it is biting me in the booty. Uh, 
I went for an elk uh, door combo, and I thought that that might be enough to get me through the early game. And it kind of was working at first until he started crushing with the yellows. These yellows have been pretty awful. The good news is he has, still has very little economy. Um, he's going for a crazy wizard army with Quincy, and I think once I remove these trees, which are not that expensive, um, my cannon ship or whatever the heck I end, end up buying should be pretty solid to defend with. So I'm not afraid long term or anything like that. Just note that I lost 60 lives already. All right, so we, a bit of a struggle to start, but what I want to do is I'm probably going to kill this guy with purples. So what I want to do is I want to test something out before I end up getting too far. Whoa, Berserk Brew 1650 nowadays. Crazy talk, dude. All right, we're going to get it going. I want to see if a door is going to be powerful with this thing or if this is just kind of a worthless thing to go for. I should not try to go for this combo. It makes a lot of sense in BTD6. Don't know if it's going to make a lot of sense here. Um, Can ship's doing most of the popping power, but we can look at a door real quick. She's doing all right. All right. But honestly, it does not look like the best combo. I think a Ninja, Adora, Elk combo is probably pretty decent, but eh. Not something I really need to delve into just yet. Here we go. A big chunk of blacks coming out and zebras and stuff. Uh, but he's still got a very, very large purple weakness. So we're going to go for that decent sized purple rush. Let's go for it. We're going to balloon boost it as well. The fire's just going to get overwhelmed. There's no way he's going to defend this. This is just going right through his defense. He's trying to boost, but it's too late. I have never played this map before. This is a new one. Deep Space. So, uh, you can't put anything on the spaceship. You got to put it all on these craters here. Good to know. Um, I think this might actually be a decent combo because I can go for a boat somewhere in the middle here. That should work out. Oh, hopefully this is a boat spot. Looks like water. But I don't know, man. Is, where's the water? It's space. Uh, either which way, though, he's going to go for helipod play, which is kind of fun. Uh, I haven't seen that yet. And, uh... I think instead of going for an elk early, I think I'm better off swapping to an elk later when I plan on going for a higher level tower. For now, going for an early grape shot boat is probably our better bet. Oh, this is pretty cool. Destroy an area and gain a bunch of money. Um, sure, why not? Let's gain some instantaneous money. We can just go boom, boom. And now we've got two little areas to work with, but we have a bunch of money for it. All right. That is, that is quite intriguing. All right, let's go for our elk at this point. Um, I'm going to try to go for a fairly early, I think. Nah, let's go cannon ship. We're better off. We don't need an elk buff yet. Um, we're going to go for a quick uh, cannon ship, I think. And uh, I'm still going to try to go for some yellow rushes and stuff here. But at this point, he's going to go for a balloon trap soon. So I got to get as much balloon income as I possibly can before he makes that happen. Um, so greens and yellows until we can't do it anymore. All right, cannon ship's got to go up, though. Boom, boom. Cannon ship is up. And I don't have the money necessary to yellow rush him. Just gotta go whites. All right, the yellows are starting to overwhelm him. The heli pilot can't quite keep up, which is good news for us. We're gonna balloon boost this. He might go for a balloon trap soon to try to absorb all this money. He's gotta boost it. He's still losing lives though with the boost. I don't know what he's down to, but he's gotta be. Oh, I don't know. I guess he defended somehow magically. Don't know how that happened. All right, we're gonna swap to uh, a couple leads here. See what he does against them. I don't think this is a one-three sniper. And then if he doesn't have the right defense for that, we're thinking purples again. Go for that early wins. We're going to go boom, boom. I got any camp protection, by the way. So we're going to go for quick camp protection on this guy. We're going to go for the quick uh, Burst of Kabrew. Um, and he's got the balloon trap up. So we can't do for the, the, the purple rush, but we can do a camo something rush. He's sending some camos against us, by the way, now. Dang. All right. A decent sized rush against us. Camos and everything up the wazizzle. All right. We're going to go for a quick camo lead purple combo. I don't think he's got the defense for it. There's too many balloons. The snipers can't keep up. Maybe. Uh, lads are getting in the way. 150 lives down to nothing. Good rush from us. Uh, it was almost an all in. I had almost no good defense ready to go, but we make it happen. Mm, I made a mistakey poo. I accidentally locked in my towers when I didn't mean to. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but I really don't like boats right now. They're they're not going to work well. So we're going to have to hope that dartling gun keep us, keep us in this game. And I have not used a single dartling gun yet, I don't think. Have I? Maybe one? But I didn't even really hardcore use them. I just kind of like threw them on the screen. I'm going to boost some whites real quick, see if we can do some damage. Just cause some problems. Uh, I'm going to get... Oh, 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 crap. Oh, crap. All right, we're back in business. Back in business. I accidentally clicked off my window here. Oh, yeah, look at that. We're doing mega damage. He might even die. Huh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Easy win. <laughs> All right, I've never played this map before, so this is new to me. Um, no, oh, the balloons look like they cross. Uh, all right. All right, I can do a boat there. Good, good, good. Because my... Oh. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh, gosh. We're out of range. Okay, this is pretty bad, actually. 
This is a much tougher map than I thought it was going to be. Um, all right, the good news is I think our Buccaneer should keep us in the game. Hopefully. And I got a really nice spot up here I think that I can put him. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a good boat spot, bro. Good boat spot. We're going to have to get him kind of early, though. Go pop him down. we got to get an early grape shot here. Otherwise, we're going to be boned. Oh, man, look at these balloons. They're all uh, sparkly and stuff. Cool. We have not had to do anything weird yet. Kind of standard plan, kind of across the board here. Uh, I finally am going to have to do something now. I've got to use my quick Adora boost. we got to go for a quick cannon ship here and still try to keep up with the whites here. Because I'm down to 90, 80, 80, 70, 70 lives at this point. And he is defending the whites very easily with his single dartling gun. Whew. All right. Uh, may have made a mistake. May. It's not over yet. Still got to watch out because I have a pretty decent yellow defense and he does not, at least not yet. Plus his hero has not even shown up yet. So what is he doing with all of his money and stuff? I don't know. It is also a slow overwhelm, even though it's not perfect. So we could end up doing like a balloon boost or something if we wanted to get kind of wild with it. But I don't think so. Ooh, we force a monkey boost with white balloons. It's actually very, very, very good news for us because we're about to send out yellows in this next round. And with a balloon boosted yellow rush, we might be able to take this guy down. We're going to try to time this. Send out whites just very slowly. Here we go. We're going to send out full yellows. We're going to balloon boost that puppy. We got $3,000 for the yellows to send out. This could just wipe him out right now. 190. Uh, 80, 70, 60. It's kind of slow. Slower than it looks. 20. And we will take him down. I don't know what he was doing, man. Very, very, very bad misplay from him, even though he's been dominating the entire game. All right. And that will get us into the Ceramoab Pit. Woo! All right. We're just climbing the ladder today, boys. Uh, we're currently at 61 trophies. If I get two more trophies, if I win one more game, we'll have earned 30 trophies in a single hour i'm at 55 minutes right now so this is kind of wild i'd really like to have this happen and then see if it really takes us not just one hour but maybe two hours or three hours or four hours to climb that last little bit at the end and when i say a little bit i mean a lot bit all right life has been easy so far no longer will it be this is an admittedly tough map for me and an adora start but i'm gonna do it anyways uh we see a quincy start coming up from this guy and no balloons coming out either which is always good news for us but he's actually getting a decent defense overall. Decent enough, at least. Oh, we forced a monkey boost on round two. You'll love to see it. Mm, this is interesting. Uh, he's got an ice tower with a boomerang with a Quincy. And I, I don't know. I mean, it's defending right now, but I feel like it probably shouldn't be. We're not going to have to see what's going to happen here. I'm going to have to go for a dartling gun. I'm going to throw it right about... Nah. And we're going to see if we can... Uh, uh, get enough defense here to even defend the whites because right now it's, it's not looking great for me to be completely honest It's like it's like going but I'm not happy about the way it's going All right, so this is the first guy that I'm like I don't think I'm gonna kill him early uh, Unless camel balloons are gonna just be absolutely deadly for this guy I don't think I can kill him with purples. I don't think I can kill him with anything else So we're gonna have to try to watch this. We might have to get a hydrocopods I might even have to sell this guy to get my hydrocopods going So I'm gonna try to keep up with my income a little bit but we might be stuck with 600, 650, something like that, which is not what I usually like to go for. I'm usually a try to get to 1k kind of guy. But yeah, he doesn't have good camera detection, so we might be able to uh, uh, fold this guy up into an origami paper airplane and throw him out into the ocean and get a beat by sharks. Let's see if we make that happen. Uh, all right, I'm going to stop with Idcup because I, I really need the Hot Pods. Uh, I don't really have the lead pop power right now. I don't have the lead camel lead pop power. I'm also weak against purples, so I'm, I'm afraid. All right, and there we go. The leads are going to pop out. We're going to sell it. We're going to get the Hadrocopods. Uh, I feel fairly comfy with this defense now. Hadrocopods plus Adora, not terrible. Um, Purple's not worth it. Zebras, maybe, but probably not. Um, I think my best bet is just Camos. He doesn't have a good amount of Camo popping power. So we're going to go for quick Camo lead, followed by some uh, Camo Purples. And we're just going to boost it. He's going to try to rush me with some Zebras, but that's not going to do nothing to me, bro. And he's going to die to Camos. Wonderful. Dude, my highest ever win streak was 20 freaking four games. I'm currently at 15, though. That is very respectable. I have uh, won 679 of my... Oh, well, I'm actually... I don't have as, as great of a win record as I would have thought. Uh, that's not bad, though, overall. But we made it 30 trophies so far, and uh, my goal is to get to 67, so I'm going to try to keep on going. This might be the first player that I've seen, like, really throw down things that actually work well together. And that's a Gwen Taxiter combo. The heated up will make the Taxiter more powerful, and this Taxiter is in, like, the perfect spot, because I got mine in the exact same spot, and my first blood, unfortunately, will not go to me. Hmm. 
kind of sad. But you know what? At the very least, we're going to get a fairly early blade shooter, which is not upsetting. Really curious how this one's going to go down. We've got a good combo here. Dartling gun cleanup with tax shooter Gwen. This is going to be a rough one for us, man. Um, we're going to swap to a couple yellows. I'm going to, or, or whites. I'm going to try a couple yellows uh, in the middle of all this, but I don't know if this is going to be enough. I mean, this is like a strategy where we're, we're not like barely hanging on, but we're going to need to build some more defense pretty soon. Here we go. Full yellows. Probably not going to boost it. I don't think it's going to be an, enough. Uh, unless he decides to yellow rush me, in which case I'll build either a mortar or a cannon. Uh, I think the mortar's probably a better idea, but we'll, we'll see when it gets a little closer. Here we Oh my god, look at that Gwendolyn. Heated up combo. That's crazy. Alright, so our money is definitely dwindling here. We're going to swap to a couple blacks or whites or whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and I've got to get my mortar going pretty soon, because if he decides to rush me with anything of reasonable value, it probably will overwhelm me. So... Uh, let's go for a mortar. I, I'd like to get 1k income today. I've not gotten 1k income yet. All right, I've got to do it. I'm going to go for my signal flare. I'm going to go for the faster reload and the rapid reload here. Um, I've got 900 income, but I just cannot go any crazier than that. We've got purples available right now. and That honestly could be dangerous, dangerous enough to kill us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in an extra cannon here, and I'm going to upgrade it if I need it. Um, also, Maltrom might be my safety net here if uh, Poop hits the fan, and I really need to get some crazy defense. Oh my god, he's got Hydra Rocket Pods up. All right, so we are not... Oh, he's going to go for a decent-sized rush against me. I'll go for a quick cluster cannon just to kind of save myself. Um, I guess I'll go for the faster uh, faster stuff as well. And I don't even know if this is actually even a rush or if it's just a to-get-income kind of situation. Never done the math on those rainbows before. All right, we're going at least 1k income, and I'm hoping to go higher. But he's got a good defense. Ceramics might be mildly dangerous, but I don't think I can send enough of them to actually be, be worthwhile. So I'm going to wait this out. Um, this game is going medium to late game. Exciting. Uh, you know, just out of curiosity, I'm going to try a quick rush. I'm going to go for uh, some leads, a decent amount of them, and I'm going to go for a couple ceramics mixed in here underneath those leads. And I'm going to balloon boost it as well. I don't think it's going to kill him, but you never know, man. Sometimes these weird rushes can do something. And it's going to force a... Uh, a lot of stuff from him. A monkey boost, and a Gwendolyn play, and a ninja, and everything else here, but it does not even get close to killing him. He played that very well. Good defense. Alright, it's Moab territory. I really don't feel like I can Moab rush him with a single Moab. I'd have to go pretty big, so I'm gonna go for my own little taxon defense down in the corner down here. I'm also gonna go for a random Moab mauler over here. Uh, and put him on strong, and I think that should be enough for us. He's still going income. Hardcore. And that means he is... Feeling good about his defense, but I don't think he's going to be feeling good about his BFB defense. I also will not be feeling great about mine, but maybe I can make something better happen than him. Also, he is a smidge weak against camos. I have a decamoizer. He does not have a decamoizer. He's got just a ninja and a hydro rocket pod, so we'll have to kind of just think about that if there's any camos that we can sneak through. Doubtful, but maybe. Um, but I'm trying to just send out a few balloons here while I get ready for my BFB rush. I'm thinking I'm going to go for a double dose. Uh, ooh, can't send them out yet. Yeah, we're probably going to go for a double dose here and uh, uh, rely on, I believe, my cannons for a little while to be my defense. So here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. This is our first late-ish game run. Round 19. About to be round 20. All right, here we go. We're going to go for a double dose of BFBs. we got a Moab coming out against us. He's going to aim the Moab with the Dartling Guns. You can tell he's a little bit weak against it. I'm also a smidge weak against it, too. I'm going to throw that out there. I'm going to go for a Recursive Cluster. Make sure I clean up all these balloons. And uh, here we go, two BFPs. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a top path laser cannon. Um, trying to probably go for the fourth here if he can get the money going for it. Do I rush with camo pur You know what? Let's go for just a huge purple rush. Just purples. Not even camo purples. Just purples. Get in the way of all this stuff. Uh, let's see if we can overwhelm him. We're going to balloon boost this a little on the late side. He's gonna probably going to try to Maelstrom this. Will he Maelstrom it in time? Balloons get to the very back of the map. Down to 90, 70, 60, 50. And we... Don't take him down. He's still alive. Oh my god. We gotta go for his Oh god rush. We need it. Uh, if he counter rushes us with his Oh my god, we might be doomed. Straight up. Here we go. His oh my god's coming out. Let's see what he does. I would probably. Oh man, even if I got a tax zone, it might not be enough. I'd probably have to try to mow of assassin that's Oh my god down or something. Because I have been a little bit on the rush heavy side. Are right, he still going for balloon income against me? Okay, he's got, again, a purple weakness, but nothing crazy purple weakness-wise. Just kind of decently stuff. All right, we're going to go We're gonna go all in. This is our rush. It's got to be our rush. If we don't kill him here, he's going to he's gonna go, he's gonna win. 
So I'm going pretty big. We got a bunch of B reinforced BFBs behind this. Oh my god. We are going to balloon boost this fairly early. Uh, we're going to go for some ceramics, I think, underneath this, because this is really all I have. I'm not going to sell any of my defense, though. I, I'm worried about a counter rush. Ceramics all over the place. Possibly a little bit early. And I guess purples, too. Oh my god. What is he going to do here, dude? There's a lot of stuff. He's going to try to rocket storm through it with a ninja sabo. Can he defend it? He cannot. Very, very good game. Our closest game yet, but he could not hang on with that defense. Whew. That was a scary one, though. People are getting good. Ooh, dang. This is a pretty good game so far. Um, I really like this map, by the way. One of my favorite maps in the game. Uh... I, right from the get-go, I just liked it because I could use monkey aces and heli pallets and stuff where other players would just not choose to use them for some reason. So that's why I like it in particular. Um, and one of my main towers I still like to go for is gotta be that bomber race. It's so good. It's one of the best towers in the game, if you ask me. So now I'm going to see if we can get one of those guys fairly early while still trying to keep up with our income. But I am trying to kill this guy. So if we can kill him with whites or something early, I'm going to go for it. All right, we're doing some mega damage right now. We're going to force a boost on him. Uh, I'm gonna build a rapid fire bomber race, and it looks like we're doing enough damage against the whites where I'm not really, like, too worried about things, but just knowing that this is hurting him, it, I gotta keep rushing. Uh, I might consider yellow rush, just because his defense is not very good against yellows, but dang, look at this, man, we're still doing damage! They're slowly draining him. I'll take a slow drain any day of the week. Uh, down to 30. Yeah, yeah, alright, we're gonna go for the yellow rush. Let's time this. Uh, we gotta get, a, get enough amount of money here. So let's keep up with the whites until the yellows are ready. And we're going to balloon boost fairly early here. See if we can cause any issues. But he does have that second Buccaneer now with a Grape Shot. So this might be enough for him to defend easily. Um, if he gets any sort of cannon... Oh, he's got the cannon ship. He's good. He's good now. Uh, a few of those balloons at the top, though. Oh, getting close. But with the cannon ship in the bottom, he's got that covered. Uh, and we're going to have to swap back to uh, white balloons on our side. So I did decide to go for ships on my side. But I also went for banana farms. I don't know. I, 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 let's use a banana farm. Why not? Red 600 income. Let's mix this up a little bit. Let's have some fun. Um, I have not done banana farms at all. Um, ever. So also we're gonna move Adora to strong since he's sending out blacks. He knows my weakness. Blacks are kind of, kind of the monkey ace's weakness. I'm gonna go for a couple of, uh, probably marketplaces, I think. Just so I don't have to pick up bananas at all. Just kind of a, a big fan of that. And then I do have to make sure that I get enough defense. Right now I do not have enough defense. Uh, Purple Rush could kill me. Camo Rush could kill me. Camo Blacks, Camo something. A little, obviously a little bit afraid. Um, I'd like to get one mark place, then get my defense ready. I do know that this guy's been spending a lot of his money on defense, so I don't think he's got that much money to rush. But uh, a big all-out cell rush or something like that is most definitely possible. All right, we're going to go for a camo detecting ship. Oh, he's got the freaking leads. Let's see, I got... Oh, I got... Oh, he's gonna, he is going to boost it. Uh, we're going to have to boost our side. I'm going to go for an another ship over here with Grape Shot and... Dang. Oh! Very, very close. But we survive it for now. He's going to go for another rush. I might have to sell my Marketplace here if it gets any worse than that. All right, we got our Cannon Ship up at this point, though. I'm going to go for a second uh, Bomber Race because I'm just kind of afraid. And I'm going to think about Counter Rush after that. Definitely think about Counter Rush after that. All right, our Monkey Boost is just about back, but not yet. not back yet. All right, I feel pretty comfy at this point with my defense. Um, dang, do we want to do rainbows or regen rainbows or something? I mean, I haven't done that in a long time, but it might be might be worthwhile. All right, let's go for it. We're going to go for a zebra, rainbow, regen rainbow combo rush with some purples in, in between all of that, and we're going to go for a boost. We're going to see if this is going to overwhelm him. And we're going big. He's going to counter rush me with some random balloons. It's not going to be enough on my side. It's going to be enough on his side, though. But it looks like it could be. And it is. A big regen rainbow rush was too much for him to handle. His defense was spread out too much for regens. All right, we got some yellows coming up the wazoo here. But I've got a new wall of fire wizard combo. It's the first time I'm popping out wizards um, in this entire challenge. But uh, not that they're a bad tower. I just don't usually use them that often. Uh... So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I do have one huge weakness, which is purples, but we'll think about that once we get to round, you know, eight or nine or whatever. And uh, for now, just focus on Adora. Also, I did not know that Adora powered up super monkeys, but I decided to pick up a super monkey and see if we can use a, a somewhat early-ish super monkey in a decently effective way. I, I, I don't know for sure, but I, I'd like to give it a shot. Unfortunately, income is more important than... Uh, oh, he's draining me right now. Income is more important than defense, so even though the purples are coming up pretty soon, I'm going to try for a quick yellow rush before I get them. 
I'd like to try to keep around enough money to do Super Monkeys. If even one purple comes out right now, I, I'm literally dead. Like, I, I cannot stop it uh, at all. So, uh, just going to gauge our, our defense, try to keep it around there. I'm going to just swap back to whites. All right, so we do force a uh, quick battle energy on him. Nice. Uh, he could rush me with purples at any point. Is he going to notice my weakness or no? He does not. There we go. We finally see it. We're going to the Super Monkey going. So, I, I again, I don't know how good this actually is, but... I mean, any bonus is good bonus. Super monkeys are not a terrible tower. Uh, but I do have to watch out. I do need to make sure that this guy is not a top path super monkey. Otherwise, that could actually be a bad thing. As far as defense goes, um, I feel I feel okay. I like I, I don't I don't I don't feel bad. I think that I want to go for a shimmer for my cam detection. I'm gonna go for a necromancer for my extra popping power. And then, uh, uh, oh, Hadrakapods is up. So Hot Rockapods isn't oh he's stealing my money again. Hot Rockapods is an interesting um, upgrade. It is not all powerful and all all defensive. It cannot pop everything, but it can pop most things. But huge rainbow rushes, huge region rainbow rushes, especially if you don't micro properly, will be deadly. So that's what we're gonna think about, man. We're gonna make him big. We're gonna force him to. Oh, he's got a sniper though with that combo. That's pretty good. All right, I don't think we're gonna be able to handle this. So handle any 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 rushes they're gonna kill him dang good defense good defense all right we're gonna swap to a little bit more income on our side i still have a slight purple weakness but nothing crazy does uh, are those camos coming out or does those just have hats on them i don't know it's hard to tell Either which way we need to focus on our income right now and hope that if we oh my god he's sending out crazy balloons against us right now all right we're gonna have to get our wizard flowing i need him up I cannot afford a huge... Oh, my God. It, oh. All right. Let's see what happens. But yeah, we got some ceramics coming out against us right now. We're going to go for a quick necro. Uh, we got regens all over the place on top of that, though. But the necro is going to take him down. All right. Um, it looks like bow-ups are probably going to be the thing that we're going to have to use to kill him. So I'm going to continue with my income a little bit. And we're thinking probably not just one, but like two, three, four moebs. Something kind of crazy. Maybe split them up into two sets of two or something. And try to keep up with the rushes. Keep pushing them. Just make sure he can't get the right defense. Because his economy is okay, but I can guarantee mine's better. At least for right now. Um, I had a way better early game than him. So, uh, But my defense is definitely worse. Like, I, I, if he all out reach in rainbow rushes me or something, I'm dead. Uh, which... Makes me think that maybe I should get a monkey. Oh, so, crap. He's kind of noticing a weakness. Boo, what do we do? All right, we're going to go for a second base super monkey. We're going to go for one, two, Moebs. Let's see what happens. Hadrock Pots is not good against single Moebs. This guy's not that great against single Moebs. Jericho, I don't think, is great against single Moebs. So, oh, let's wait it out. Let's see what happens. All right, he's struggling right now. We're going to go for another two of them. Uh, the boost didn't pop out yet, but... But, uh... I spaced them out. Okay, they're getting in the way right now. He might just die. And there we go. Down to 44. 20. Zero. And we take him down. Yup. This is another map that I have never played. And I'm a little confused about how the balloons work. Seems like they, some of them go around this way. Some kind of go around the circle. I'm not really sure. Either which way we're, I think we're, we're just put things in the middle, right? That's just how it goes. Put things in the middle. Um, I decided to switch away from the monkey ace today because I wasn't sure how this map was going to work. And I'm glad I did. This does not seem like a monkey ace map. But Heli Pellets, not sure about that either. Mm, it could work. Oh my god, it looks insane. <laughs> this is a really, really weird map. Okay. I need a, I need an early Heli. It's just gotta happen. I'm gonna sacrifice some lives to make it happen too. Alright, Heli near the back. Save the day. Actually, a lock in place might not be a, might not be bad here. I could just follow Mouse. Ah, let's follow Mouse him for now. Um, eh, this isn't great. But good enough. Dang, yellow balloons are overwhelming me. Not happy about that. Come on, Heli Pilot. I thought you were good, bro. So the news is, I don't think we're overwhelming this guy with anything we're going to send out, like, at all. Uh, triple, triple tag shooter with Quincy combo. It just ain't happening. So I want to maximize my income, obviously, but I also want to make sure I have enough money to get my defense ready if I need it. So I'm thinking... Uh, I mean, he's not rushing me at all, so I guess we're going to just wait, try to get Razor Rotors just in time for when I need but I am thinking Razor Rotors is our answer here. Okay, still no rushes against me. I'm going to go for a little bit more yellow action. I think even if we get a Razor Rotors kind of last second, we're probably going to be okay still. That's the nice thing about it. So we go a little bit of, little bit of white action and combo to make sure we don't run out of money. Okay, I don't feel uncomfortable about this. I'm just going to buy the Razor Rotors. Um, I do want to make sure I have cam detection, though, because I don't have much with anybody else, so... 
Uh, it looks like we're going middle path today. Nice and cheap upgrades. I like that. Change from BTD6. All right, IFR is up, a little early, but I don't feel upset about it. Um, I've only got 700 income right now, but I don't feel bad about that either. Uh, as far as rushes go, still can't do much, but he does have a purple and camo weakness and lead weakness, so we're going to try to, you know, throw some crap at him and see what sticks. Uh, as far as my defense is concerned, not great at all, but I think good enough. Good enough for what he's probably going to rush me with there. Okay, here we go, leads. Uh, a little bit of lead action. Keep him busy with the leads. Well, he's going to get a sniper up. Kind of late, though. While we get some purples in the way, we're going to boost it. Let's see what's going to happen here. Leads in the way of the purples. He's going to always get a counter rush me. Oh, crap. And we get him. Oh, man. He would have taken me down with that purple rush. Thank goodness we got it up. Oh, baby. And, oh, oh, oh that, was, that was close. Oh, man. It was almost an all-out rush from us. And uh, glad we got it first, man. Glad we got it first. And that is going to put us into the... Mm, BFP Coliseum with It's day two when I just realized wizards only cost three hundred dollars to get started in here. That's pretty wild. But sounds good to me. Um it looks like we're probably gonna get the first uh we're gonna lose the first blood, which is oh wait, maybe we won't. It's gonna be tight for everybody. Who's gonna lose it first? And we get that token! Nice! Alright. I mean, that was just kind of exciting. I don't know, it was like, it was a very close battle right there. Either which way, we're about to lose a lot of lives, but it doesn't feel horrible. We're both losing lives, so he's going to go for a Dartling Gun Gwen strategy, and we're still going to go for our Adora uh, Wizard Strat, and we do have a weakness. It's going to be purple still. So we're going to have to watch that, but I'm hoping Super Monkey, we can get him up in time before uh, who hits the fan, basically. Unfortunately, we are going to have to go for an early Wall of Fire here, so before we start sending out blues against me... Or as soon as he starts sending out blues, I just gotta get it. Alright, we make it happen. I don't want to say no issues, but minor issues here. Um, and they have swapped from pink straight to greens instead of whites or anything, which is actually good for me, because I don't know how I do against whites, but I'm happy with how things are going right now. Our income is definitely better than theirs. And uh, I just need to make sure I get a super monkey in time. We should be alright. Like a quick balloon boosted green white combo. I don't know that it's... Ooh, he's got a quick Gwendolyn play, and that should with the cocktail... Get him to defend. Yes, yes, yes. Close battle, though. Um, our wizard is still defending for the most part, but not entirely. And I've got to get my super monkey up soon. Otherwise, purples are going to blow me out of the water. So I, I want to go for a few yellows, but I don't want to go crazy with it. Um, it's kind of one of those like luck things. Does the fire last long? If it doesn't quite. All right, we just got to get the super monkey. Let's throw it down. Hopefully, that is enough to stop. Yes, it's enough to stop yellows here, at least for now. Um, and he's doing okay. Like, just barely hanging on. I'm gonna try a really weird rush. I'm gonna do a purple lead zebra combo. And I don't think this is gonna get in the way, but yeah. Oh, wait, we do have some blue sneaking through. I gotta be careful, though. My defense right now is not very good. So we're gonna go for quick mortar. I'm gonna get him as a. You know what? Let's go for the. Uh, dang. Um, I guess I'm going shimmer. And I think I'm gonna go for a necromancer soon. Because he's got hot to pod, so I don't think I can rush him right away. Uh, but my competition right now is pretty awful. Mm, just some rainbows coming out. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do it. Necro. Kind of early. And I, I guess my camera detection wasn't powerful. It's, it, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're just going to have to walk in knowing this guy's weak against Moabs in general. But I don't think I can kill him with any sort of regular balloon rush. So uh, I'm thinking just a quick Moab on round 17. Maybe a double dose. We're going to see how he plays it. And uh, based on that, we'll... Uh, uh, well, they go kind of big, or just keep on going income. He's sending out almost full income against me, so he might not have very, very, much, very much money to deal with these Moabs. Here we go. We got two at least. I might go purples, might go ceramics, might go leads, might go something else underneath this. Kind of depends on uh, what's going on. Um, let's start with just regular balloons for now. He's kind of defending it okay. I'm going to go for a third Moab in the middle of all this. Um, he's kind of defending. He defends the first one. He's, oh, he's got two. No, he doesn't have two Hydra Rocket Pods. He's got a Super Monkey, though. Dang. All right, the second Moab's going to go down. I think that third Moab's going to go down as well. And with that Super Monkey play, he is going to defend. Wow. All right. So, uh, actually scares me a little bit. I'm going to go for, I think, a second Super Monkey on my side, just in case he does decide to rush me with Moabs. Um, but I got to keep up with my income. So, 
This could turn into a reasonably long game, possibly our longest game yet. Just want to reiterate that this is our 20th game, and if we win this one, we have done it. We have gotten 20 wins in a row. And if you guys want to say thank you to me and help support charity and or help support any other cause you want and or if you just like free awesome cool cosmetics, make sure you use my creative support code. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Oh, dang. We're about to lose. Oh, crap. Artillery battery is really expensive, though. Uh, my boost is about to wear off. I need to get this money for artillery battery, and I need to get it soon. There's going to be ceramics all over the place. Uh, artillery battery. Last second. We got balloons trying to sneak through. Artillery battery's got to keep us in the game right now. We got Moabs coming out as well, but we do end up defending barely. Whew. That was a scary round. We're going to just counter rush with a quick reinforced BFP. And I'm just going to send out uh, constant income underneath this guy. Not to try to kill him, but just to try to keep him busy. And we're going to see if we want to go for a Zoma God in the next round here or not. Possibly overkill to go reinforce Zoma God, but I really feel like right now he doesn't have the Moa Poppin' Power. Um, I also don't really have the Moa Poppin' Power either, but I think with the Super Monkey play, I might be able to get it done. We'll see. Maybe a Dark Knight or something like that. Either which way, I think we got to go for Zoma God if he can barely defend against this one BFB. So we're going to go for it. It's 55... 100 plus minus some income. Ooh. All right, this is going to be tough for him, though. This is going to be very tough. He's going to have to deal with this. Oh, my God. And a reinforced uh, bow. We're going to have to watch for the counter rush. I'm going to not send out balloons for a little bit because he's very confident. Still sending out pinks against me. Okay, he finally stopped. All right. I'm going to balloon boost this. We got a chance to just let this go right through. I might balloon boost again on this. Oh, my God, though. And he's going to blast it with Gwen. He's going to take down that BFB. But can he take down this? Oh, my God, as well. Good question. No counter rush coming out yet. He's going to end up getting a Dark Knight up. That should help against his Oh My God. Uh, we didn't go all in with our rush, though. We're just going to kind of let it let it mellow for a little bit. Um, don't want to waste my last uh, Balloon Rush, but I'd like it to just go right through, you know? Kind of watch. There's a lot of Bloons. Don't underestimate the amount of Bloons, and he doesn't have quite as many abilities this time around. A lot of Bloons about to sneak through. We're going to Balloon Boost that crap! And we, yes, we get him through. Late balloon, bo balloon boost, but it does go through. Whew, that was scary, though. Bonds John, man. Bonds John. Hey, we got a 20 win streak. That's fun. For some reason, I'm expecting a Churchill play right now. I don't think this guy's AFK. Oh, we get a late dartling gun, but that's rough. He's going to lose some lives because of that play. In fact, I'm going to balloon boost this and just get as many lives as I can out of it right from the get-go. If I can get 30, 40 lives, that's good news for us. Totally worth a balloon boost. Oh, we're down 50 lives. More than 50. Yes. Love the draining. Keep him drained. We're going to have to do the same thing as usual. Uh, kind of a very similar strategy to last time. This is a tough place to be in, but I think we got to go Shimmer. I think we got to go for our Necro as soon as we possibly can here. I'm not even going to play with fire today. I feel like this guy wants to rush me and wants to kill me. Um, he's going to get Hydro Rocket Pods up. You know, he spent all his money. Screw it. Let's uh, let's go for a little bit of balloon action here. I don't want to go crazy, but I know that he's spent a lot of his money on that uh, uh, that tower. So I've got a little bit of room to work with. He's still sending out some balloons against me, but again, he knows he doesn't have a lot of money, but he's spending it again even more and more. So i got to be careful here. I don't think I can kill him. I think he's got the, the Hydro Rocket Pots. It's too too good. Um, you'd have to go for a crazy Regenerate Rush or something to take him down. I just don't think that's in the the, the cards for me. So it's going to be a, a Moab kind of game. Interestingly enough, he just went Banana Farms. That's kind of odd. I was not expecting a late game Banana Farm player, but here we are. My income's not as good as I'd like it to be either. So that's that does scare me a, lick a little bit. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to try our Moab Rush. We're going to go for a double dose kind of see where we're at here. It's not, it, it's totally worth the $2,000, let me tell you, because it's going to make him possibly not get banana farms, get less income, spend more money on defense and stuff, and uh, we can also just kind of keep on increasing our income. So here we go. He's going to go for a quick Quincy play. That's going to do a pretty decent amount of damage to those Moabs, and that will allow him to easily take down, I think, all the balloons on the inside. There's some balloons trying to sneak through there, and I think he's going to get like a couple lives too cute for the double Moab rush. And he, ooh! I saw some balloons go through, but unfortunately on his screen, it didn't. So, uh, we could try a reinforced Moab or a BFB. And I think we're going to go for a BFB, probably a Zoma God after that. And we're just going to have to watch on our side right now. I have some money to play around with. He has not been rushing me at all. He's just been chilling with the banana farms, but he can go for a big boy rush whenever he feels like it. Oh, here we go. He's going to go for something. So, we're going to try for a Dark Knight. I think these got nerfed, but I have no idea. I've not played around with them in a while, so we're going to hope that this is just enough here. There we go. Dark Knight is up. Um, 
I, I think this is going to be easy. Uh, I'm going to keep on going with my income here. Uh, yeah, perfect defense from us. Dark Knight, great. We're going to leave him on strong. Could move him to first, but I'm going to leave him on strong for now. And uh, I'm going to go for that BFB, and then uh, Zombie God. And I think those are going to be pretty devastating for him. I don't think a Wizard is going to be good. I don't think Quincy's going to be good. I don't think a random Hydro Rock Podge is going to be good enough to take those things down. So he's got to make some majestic plays if he wants to kill these things. A Phoenix might be okay. I kind of want, like, I kind of want to see a Phoenix pop out, to be completely honest with you. I think it's just like a cool tower to have on the screen. All right, we're going to swap to pinks, too. I, I'm feeling it, man. We're going to go uh, BFB. We might even go for some actual big balloons underneath. Leads, rainbows, regens, whatever. This is not my kill rush. This is my keep busy rush. So, my god, it's going to be my kill rush. Maybe even a reinforced so, my god. All right, let's stop with the raid come a little bit. Um, He's going to go for a second dartling gun. Still no counter rush coming out. Still got two banana farms. He feels confident enough. He's going to go for a top path uh, Darling gun here. Not a bad idea. And we're going to go for a reinforced oh my god right away. It's $11,000. This has got to take him down. There's no freaking way. If this doesn't kill him first. All right, some balloons trying to sneak through right now. He doesn't monkey boost. He didn't monkey boost. We didn't even need this oh my god. And he wasted those banana farms. Oh, silly play. Silly play. Okay, I have no idea how this map works. So it looks like they kind of counteract each other a little bit. Um... We can remove that for 350 to get us some more water in here. Okay, so I picked uh, towers that I think make sense. I think the boat is going to be the, the the answer for us. Uh, I also went Dartling Gun instead of Mortar, which I kind of regret. I think Mortar would have been great for an explosion right here or here, or even just kind of in the middle of the map. But I don't regret it. I uh, just know that uh, this is my first time playing this, so we're going to have, uh, have to see how this goes. Uh-oh. Maybe a minor miscalculation. <clears throat> We are struggling against blue-pink combo right now. We're down about 30, 30 lives, 40 lives, probably even more. Um, the good news is I am setting myself up for cannon ship pretty early, so I won't have to worry about that for a long, long time. But just kind of unfortunate to lose lose that many lives when I, I don't feel like it was necessary. All right, uh, here we go. Swap into whites for a little bit, but he's got a fantastic defense, or good enough for me. Um, I don't think whites are going to stink through, but maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll watch it a little bit. Uh, he's got an airburst dart sub, which is something you don't see all that often. Good for right now, not great in battles in general. Weak against purples, rainbows, regen rainbows, zebras, leads. It's got a bunch of weaknesses, so I don't expect... I don't expect many issues, is all I'm saying. So, just to note, one thing about this map that I'm noticing is because the naturals come out of the opposite side of the scent balloons, I'm able to pop them very, very quickly, and the rounds are actually going by very quickly. So even though it may seem like a very low income to have 700, it's actually not based on the rounds and everything. They've been going by very, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to swap my strategy. 700 is all, all I'm going to do. I'm going to swap to a sub, and I'm going to go for a nuclear sub uh, pretty quickly here. Um, he's first of all going to be my camp detection for now but I need him for my popping power. I am not going to try to rush with purples, but I may consider rainbows or something. Gwen's usually pretty good against group balloons with her abilities, but um, we'll have to do like a, a, a kind of a double rush or something like that. Like I said, right now, just trying to get my uh, my defense going. I'm a little afraid of purples. Here we go. Blue turning reactor is up. He's submerged. Feel pretty comfy. Um, he's going to get a nuclear sub as well. How did he afford that, dude? He's got, like, a triple gun sub and a nuclear sub. How did he get that much money? I don't get it. I mean, all things considered, I guess I probably spent about as much money as him, but dang. All right, so everybody's going for these rainbows. I'm going to assume that these are some sort of amazing income balloon, so I'm going to do it. Um, like, they're, they're probably a, a pretty equal income to most other balloons, but also just happen to be... Uh, oh, didn't mean to set up purples. But also just happen to be a decent rush balloon, so... That's what I'm guessing. Um, I couldn't do the math uh, on the fly, though, so I'll just have to watch it. And it looks like we are going to wait till Moabs. Um, I don't have a great Moab defense, but I don't have a terrible Moab defense. I'm just going to have to rely on boats a little bit, which is not ideal, but not terrible. I'll throw it out there that I don't think a Moab rush is going to work. So I don't think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to wait till a BFB. And I think a single BFB kind of surprising him might cause some issues. The uh, thing is, I'm still going a lot of income. He's still going a lot of income. So if he decides to rush me, I'm going to try to not defend it until I get the Monkey Pirates. Um, if he does a bunch of mobs against me, that's a different story. I don't know what I'm going to do. I hope that he doesn't do that. Let's just hope he doesn't do that. I, I mean, I can try to get a Destroyer up, maybe. Other than that, I don't know. I'm, fr I'm freaking screwed. So we're thinking BFB. Uh, we're going to hope that he's just going to be nonchalant about it and then think about possibly going for his Omegod soon after that. So, uh... 
that's kind of the, the basic plan here. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. He's also making extra cash off the naturals right now, which is kind of brutal for me. <clears throat> All right, here's just a regular MOA. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, I think that's I think that's a fourth tier sub, but I really don't know. Let's see how it does. I, I don't know. I truthfully don't know. The good thing is this 21 and 22 are pretty quick, so we can get straight to Zoma oh Gods fairly uh, quickly. We just have to watch out for a first strike sub, because money might actually be possible. Uh... Oh, ooh, look at these naturals. Wow. Dangerous. Right, I'm going to build another boat over here. Um, and I got to get ready. Oh, yeah, this might kill him. We're just going to... Oh, and the Gwen Rush! My balloon boost is worthless. All right, I got to go for a quick destroyer. Wow, those naturals. Dangerous. All right, we're going to go for his... Oh, my God. He could first strike it. He's got um, a sub, so I don't want to reinforce it. Uh, I could go for a double dose, but it looks like he's going to try to pop it. Okay. Interesting. He's got a chance to pop it, don't get me wrong. I don't know what I want to do in, on this side, though. I think I'm just going to chill for a little bit. I think i got to get an aircraft carrier if uh, he decides to rush me. You know what? I'm just going to get the aircraft carrier. Oh my god, it's down to BFBs. He's got some ninjas action over there. There's still a lot of balloons he's got to take down. I'm going to balloon boost it. Ooh, he's got the Sabo as well. Gwen going to go gonna be uh up in time another balloon boost down but a lot of balloons over here uh oh we got the traps trying to trap them they're getting enough of them there's a few ceramics still left another sub trying to defend in the very very back he does oh, defend oh wow all right well played i think i'm gonna go straight for a carrier flagship for ddt's um ddt's are coming up in two rounds here I think he's got enough DT popping power, but honestly, this could be our first loss because I did not pick for late game stuff. I think he did. Ninjas are pretty solid. Um, he's going for a Sabo uh, ninja combo. I just don't know how we're going to deal, man. We're going to have to go big on the beef instead of trying to finesse him with DDTs, basically. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking carrier flagship, and I think I'm going to combine it with a bottom path uh, just to make sure I've got the cam detection. I don't want to worry about sub trying to T cam with DDTs and stuff because I didn't even build a middle path to sub. Again, not prepping for late game. This is a fairly easy map, though. So, uh, here we go. Cure Flagship. Long range Crow's Nest. I don't want to say that that's an, an automatic win against DDTs, but I think it's enough to kind of keep me busy with a, an Adora combo because I just got Ball Flight. That's nice. That's a good one. Um, Super Monkeys range. Oh, my God. I wish I built Super Monkeys this game. All right. We still... Uh, Dang. Uh, I, I can't do DTs. I'd have to go big on the Zoma Gods, and I think this point's not worth it. I think we gotta wait till round 30. We're gonna have to wait for a bad. Um, or just go for the beef right now, like triple Zoma God, quadruple Zoma God. That could be dangerous. Okay, I don't remember how expensive a mad is, but I believe if I can get a mad, mad up, I can pop a bad and multiple DTs. So I'm going, and he doesn't know I have that either. So, uh, that is what I want to do if he decides to rush me, but I got to do it pretty quick. Alternatively, I can rush him, and I've got $67,000 to rush him with, but I'd rather have him rush me, and then I just counter-rush him whenever I feel like it with my extra money that he doesn't have anymore. Uh, but you'll have to wait and see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get a little sketch right now. All right, round 30. It's about to pop out. Is he going to rush me? Don't forget, round 30 is a big, big, big round. All right. Um... Nothing crazy coming out yet. No bad balloon. I'll do a bad on round 31. Here we go. We're going to go for a bad. Let's see what happens. He's got a pretty good ninja defense. I still have enough money to get my mad, I believe. So, I'm going to buy... Uh, yeah, I just want to set myself up here if I need it. I'm going to buy the bottom path combo. I'm just going to buy the hot rock pod so I get locked in here. Let's see what he does against the bad. I'm actually a little curious. If he can defend this very easily... We gotta go so big and beefy, it's crazy. Um, he's not rushing with any balloons anymore, so th this is gonna be the end game fairly soon. Alright, so one bad. Did pretty good. Don't forget there's balloons inside, though. Those are still dangerous. So, DDT is gonna get taken down easily. Oh my gods. Also taken down. Fair. Oh, he's starting to go income again. All right, if that's a single bad and only and making it about halfway through. Oh, we just got a master bomber, though. <gasps> oh, boy. All right, I could do a triple reinforced bad rush. 
could do some DDTs mixed in there, but I don't think DDTs are going to do anything. And that's going to leave me with no mad. Looks like I got to go all in. I think he might defend it, but I got to go all in anyways. Here's three reinforced bats. Um, he could counter rush me at any point with DDTs, and I'd probably be doomed. But uh, I'm going to hope that he doesn't. Um, I've got no more mad money anyways. I'm going to save this money for DDTs. And he's using Sabos and everything, but they are still getting pretty far. Man, this is a good defense. King Potato. Holy crap. I think we're going to have to rush with it in just a second here. Um, He's getting some good stallage going. All right, I got to go big and beefy very, very soon. Reinforced DDTs with the balloon boost. Come on, baby. Sneak them through. Sneak them through. I got to go all freaking in, too. This is everything. Send 100 DDTs at your opponent. Oh my god, he's got the stuns, he's got the stalls, he's got the defense, he's not countering me either. I don't see how I could possibly win this one. He's gotta win this. He's gotta. Reinforce bad, getting far. He's got the preemptive strike, he's gonna try to first strike it maybe? Oh, DDTs are done. We got two oh my gods left and that's it. And there's just two more. Oh, the mobs are gonna see through my side. Wait, Ball of Light with the Dora? No! And there it is, our first loss in 20 games to the Ninja Play. Oh, I wish I played this map before. I would have known a little better, but it is what it is. Great game, my friend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that absolute whopper of a game. I know it sucks that we had to lose eventually, but we got our 20 win streak. And we're actually up to, I believe, 22 wins before we got taken down. So uh, if you guys, again, want to support me for making this kind of epic-ish video, use my creator support code. It's SJP. In the process, we can also support charity, and you guys get a benefit, too, because you get special cosmetics that only you will get if we're the number one creator.